All right, you guys, here I am. I am going to open a box of the Victoria Lair of Behemoths. I wanted to get a collector's box, but they're too expensive and stores don't have them. And so I just got a regular box, but I got the cool Godzilla box topper. That's what I really want, these cards. I don't know if they're even in here, but we're gonna open up a few packs and see. And I know that uh, this one, this uh, episode is going out to Scotty because he loves to open these packs. And I should have been better prepared here to have a knife or something to open this childproof packaging. But right, here we go. Let's get this box open. Open it. We're opening it. We're not going to open the whole thing because that would take a long time. But we are going to open a few packs and see what happens. So look, we get a box topper. We'll see what's inside that first, I think. So or should we wait? Maybe we'll wait to the end. Let's open a few packs first. And we'll open the box topper later. And there's some beat down there. I tried to make this setup as ghetto as possible, and I think I succeeded. Alright, come on now. Open these packs. Is it even harder to open? What if you're in the store in a draft and it took this long to open the packs? Come on, alright, here we go. Pack number one. What do we got? Human soldier. Blood pill caves. Oh, the Rogan Triome. That's, that's kind of a cool card. I think these Triomes are going to be really good. Oh, that's the rare, too. The rares are on the top. Uh, Duskfang Mentor. Lifelink Counter Enabler. She seems alright. Only one three, though. Boon of the Wish Giver. Draw four cards. That's my favorite lines of text. Oh, here's a cartoon art dude of Parcel Beast. He's an elemental beast. He mutates. Look out for him. What is he? Look at the top card. If it's a land card, put it in your battlefield. Oh, that's not bad. I like him. Destroy target artifact or flying creature. Sudden spinnerets. Target creature. Plus one, plus three. That's garbage. Mysterious egg. It's a mutate thing. Glimmerbell. Tapper, untapper. Kind of cool. Garrison cat. There's a lot of cats in this set. He gives you a 1-1 one, one soldier when he dies. I don't know, it's like a doomed cat. Plummet. Old standby sideboard card. <laughs> Christian. Christian. Christasian. <laughs> He's a crab with flash. Essence Symbiote. Uh, he's a mutate guy. Cathartic Reunion's back. And Boot Nipper. Well, I think the Raugren Tite Triome is pretty cool. Put that out there. I didn't see anything else like super spectacular in that pack, so let's see if there's another good pack here. This is fun, right? Here it is. Ah, uh, let's see. Wow, three minutes per pack. That's not going to be great, too. Wow. Did they change? They, I think they changed the packaging. It's a little harder to open. Or I just haven't done this for a while. The Human Soldier. Bloodfell Caves. Oh, Zagoth Triome. That's the Sultai one, so you know it's going to be a favorite of mine. Um, and a crystal that can create different colors of mana. That's cool for your commander decks. Um, swallow hole. Tap or untap a creature. Exile. Put a little blink, blink spell. I like this. I'm going to put this in the good pile. Footfall crater. Gives your creatures haste. Adventurous impulse. Look at the top three. Reveal a creature or land and put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. I love it. Spring Claw Trap. Oh, that looks terrible. Sudden Spinner, that's garbage. Keep safe. We got an owl keeping you safe on this one. Counters target spell that targets a permanent you control. This seems like a reprint of something else, but it lets you draw a card. I like it. I like it. Of course, it's a blue spell. Of course, I like it. Light of Hope. Gain for life, destroy enchantment, or put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature for one. That seems pretty decent. I like it. Phase Dolphin. Uh... Sorry, Flipper, you're lame. Plum dumb. Uh, Blood Curdle, four mana, destruction spell, it's good and limited. Uh, Hasty Lava Serpent. Mutual Destruction. As an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice the creatures, this is Blood uh, Bone Splinters. But you need a creature with Flash to use it. That seems pretty lame. Alright, here's another one. Come on. You're kidding me. 
Is there like a little tear spawn in this? There it is. Well, why don't I just do that? Because it doesn't really do the whole trick. There we go. Human soldier. A forest. Frondland Felidar. He's a cat beast. That gives your creatures with vigilance the ability to become tappers. Uh, that seems pretty lame. Polywog Symbiote. Each creature spell you cast costs one. If it has mutate, it's for the mutate deck. Void Beckoner. Cycler Guy. Makes guys with Death Touch. Sonorth Howlbounder. Venice Guy. Flycatcher Griffid. Draffid. Vigilance Guy. Uh, spontaneous Flight. I like the art on that with the little fox. He's cute. Fertilid. Mr. Spelt Gremlin. One of mine drawing two cards. Draneth Healer. Whenever you cycle a card, you get something. Um, there's a turtle. Zero five turtle. Prickly Marmoset. Oh, this guy was on the pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was on the pack and he's a common. Cycler common. He's durable coil bug. Oh, Dreamtail hair and a mutating bird. Elemental bird. Whenever he mutates, draw a card. I like it. Drawing cards is my favorite. So far, it's pretty exciting. Alright, there's a the tear thing. See, the tear thing just doesn't really help that much. It's just not very great. A lot of human soldier tokens and islands. Oh, here's a foil. Oh, I love the art on this card, too. Z Zerda the Dawn Waker, the elemental fox. He's a companion, and each permanent card in your starting deck had, has an activated ability. It's the requirement to use him as a companion. Abilities cost two less than our mana abilities, and you can pay one and target creature can't block. 3-3 three, three for 3. He's pretty good. I like him. I like that art. Ooh, Voracious Great Shark. He's a flash shark, and when he enters a battlefield, you can counter an artifact or creature. Yeah, kind of expensive, but I like him. Stormwild Capridor. Huh. If non-combat damage would be dealt to Stormwild Capridor, prevent that damage. Put a plus one counter on Capridor for each damage prevented. So if you had a Tim on that guy, you could just pump him with tokens, which would be cool. Huntmaster Liger. He's a mutant. Uh, whenever he mutates, you get plus X plus X, where X is the number of times this creature is mutated. Huh. Seems expensive. Flash. Spells with flashy costs. Cast costs one less and can't be countered. Cunning Night Thunder. Hmm. Honey Mammoth. Uh, Life Gainer. Tentative Connection. Perimeter Sergeant. Gives humans a bump. Capture Sphere. Limited removal. Uh, four mana one exile spell. Another turtle. Dark bargain. I like the art on that. I don't know if it's really playable. It is an instant for four. You look at the top three. Ferocious Tiger Hill. Trample guy. And Pentagia Tiger. You can make your humans fly. Doesn't seem all that exciting. Now let's see. Human Soldier. Eerie Ultimatum. This card seems kind of cool. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's expensive. But it's a nice effect, especially in Commander. I think a lot of these cards are for Commander, by the way. But that's okay, because they also might be good for Cube. Here's another one of those rocks. That's cool. That's the Ab Abzan one. The Nightmare with cartoony art. Chittering Harvester. Not great, but the art's cool. Dire Tactics. Exile target creature. If you don't control human, you lose art. That's a pretty good exile spell. Uh, thwart the enemy. Prevent damage. It's a fog. For three, that seems dumb. Tentative Connection. Bristling four. Perimeter Sergeant. Convolute, I kind of like that. Of course, it's a counterspell. Garrison Cat, Essence Symbiote, Forbidden Friendship. Create a 1-1 red dinosaur creature and a 1-1 human soldier 
creature. I like it. I like it. And durable coil bug and Patagia tiger. Those are both pretty lame. All right, we're burning through these packs. I'll do a few more of these. I think I'll make this first video about 15 minutes long and see how how that goes. So we got a few more, five more minutes. Oh, there's a dinosaur token to go with that guy you just saw. And a swamp. And a foil forest. Sweet. Cub warden. A mutator that creates cats. That seems kind of cool. Ivy elemental. This is a reprint, I think. X green makes XX dudes. Life link cycling splendor mare. Ooh, I like that guy. Alert heat bonder. Vigilance at the beginning of your end step, you gain one life for each creature you control. Vigilance. That's for the vigilance deck. Destroy target artifact or enchantment with cycling. That's not horrible, but also I think there's better cards that can do that out there. Spell Eater Wolverine has double strike as long as there are three or more instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Arr, he's eating spells. Cat. Frostlink. That's a reprint. Adaptive Shimmerer. He's a 3 3 for 5 with Flash. Frenzied Raptor, a generic dinosaur, Cavern Whisperer. I like it. I like the art. Um, when he mutates, discard. No, I like the card too. Pyroceratops. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's see. Cut up one more packs here. I'm open that box topper. We'll do episode two later. Human Soldier, Thornwood Falls, uh, Gyruda, Doom of Deaths, the Demon Kraken. I like it. He's a companion. Your starting deck contains only cards with converted, even converted mana costs. When he enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of their library into the graveyard. Put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under control. Great for Commander. Uh... Four mana search for two basic lands. It doesn't seem that great. Splendor Mail, Moscow Gore. I'm just going to go through these if I see any new ones. I'm starting to get reruns already. Ooh, Serrated Scorpion. I always like Scorpions. I think they're cool. Go for Blood, a Fighter. Oh, here's a different Art Cavern Whisperer. I don't know about those cartoony art ones. Alright, we'll open one more. And then we'll do our Box Topper. This is going to be so exciting to watch for someone. <laughs> oh, a Narset token. Well, maybe we'll get a Narset. That'd be cool. Jungle Howl. Oh. Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. Whenever you, he's a mythic. Great. Whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, produce a mana of any type that permanent produced. And you can pay seven and look at the top five cards of your library and put a non-human out. Yeah. Great in Commander. Exile three enchantments. In case you're worried about enchantments. Uh, Mystic Subduel. Sprite Dragon. He's cute. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, put a counter on him. I like him. Uh, let's see. Another Convolute. That's fine. I like it. Gust of Wind. I think that's a reprint. Essence Scatter. I know. A reprinted Essence Scatter. Alright. One more. One more. This is so exciting. Let me just tell you, I've been opening packs for a long time. Human Soldier in a Swamp. Oh, another Zerda. But a non-foil. That's not so exciting. Uh, let's see, anything else good news? Parcel Beast. No. Suffocating Fumes. That's after eating some burritos. Uh, facet Reader. He's a looter. He's kind of cool. Thieving Otter. I always like these because they're just super annoying. Alright, let's open this box topper and stop part one of our video. Box topper. It's like a little... I feel like there's one card in there and it's probably exactly what's inside. One card. It's pretty exciting though. That's probably going to be something really lame. 
It's, it's Gigan, Gigan Cyberclaw Cyber Terror, Terror, who's also <laughs> Garuda, the Doom, Doom of de Deaths. Deaths. So he's that Demon Kraken, but he is a Godzilla version. So, not really the one I wanted. I would have preferred another Godzilla. But, it's part way to my goal of collecting them. So, there you go. That was a few packs. I got a couple of interesting cards. Um, still not quite, quite sure what to make of this set, but I'll keep opening and maybe make some more videos. Thanks.